Gentlemen, in the quest to obtain a Greek god-like physique, you need to work out to break down those muscle fibers. You need to rest to make sure those muscle fibers have time to rebuild. And you need to eat and eat and eat. But all calories were not created equal in the eyes of muscle mass. And so in an attempt to help you realize your full buffness potential, today we're going shopping. I'm going to show you the 10 best muscle building foods in my opinion. Whose opinion? My opinion. Gentlemen, let's shop. Number one is the egg. Eggs are the number one best bang for your bodybuilding buck because not only are they affordable, they're super cheap, they're a great snack, and they also provide all, not all, but nine essential amino acids. Before we go any further, let's just talk about why amino acids are so important. Really, when you work out, you're tearing, breaking, damaging those muscle fibers. Eat protein, which is made up of amino amino acids and then your body digests them and shoots them, shuttles them, sends them right to your muscle to rebuild and help heal those damaged muscles, resulting in bigger, stronger muscles. Number two, lean beef. This would probably be the appropriate time to mention that this diet and these foods aren't necessarily vegetarian or vegan friendly, um, but these are, in my opinion, and what I've experienced, my experience, these are the best. And beef is hands down one of the best foods that you can eat if you're looking to put on serious quality size. Up until about a year and a half ago, I was eating on average a pound and sometimes a little bit more of lean beef a day. What I found though is because even if it is lean, it is higher in calories as opposed to some of these other protein options we'll talk about. And as I've gotten older, it became a little bit harder to stay lean. And so I reduced my red meat consumption and increased some of these other options we're gonna talk about. But red meat, awesome. Number three, chicken breast. Chicken. Everybody knows that chicken is a protein packed option. One of the things I love about chicken is that a medium chicken breast is really the right size for a portion. And so I don't really have to think or weigh my food. It's incredibly lean in terms of chicken breast. Um, I also will eat some thighs. Sometimes they're a little bit higher in fat, but they're also more delicious. And when you eat a lot of chicken, you need some help making it delicious. Number four, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, ew, Christ, I'm telling you, cottage cheese is delicious. I would get the low fat or no fat cottage cheese, and for years it was a staple. It's also super easy to grab if you're out and you're like, yo, I don't have anything to eat, I need high quality protein. You can always go into a grocery store and find it. The other thing about cottage cheese is that it's made from, or what it is, is, is casein protein, which is incredibly slow digesting protein. And so it's great if you're going to be out and about and you're not gonna have access to food, it's awesome. The downside to cottage cheese is it's dairy and I've had to actually kind of back off because I was noticing I, was, I just had so much congestion and when I stopped eating as much cottage cheese and Greek yogurt, that all sort of went away, but I miss it. I miss it every day. I love it so much. Um, the other downside to cottage cheese is it's very high in sodium. Number five is fish. Three of my favorite are cod, salmon, or tilapia. Fish is incredible. Now, personally, I hate <laughs> tuna fish. I think tuna fish, the smell of it, is probably the most repulsive, disgusting things out there, so I won't eat tuna. But fresh fish, salmon, cod, tilapia, I get down on. Number six, avocado. Fats, baby. Avocados, nuts, legumes, fats are your friend. Here's the deal. You need fats. Why do you need fats? Lots of reasons. Your body needs fat. Not only is fat essential for every function, hormone function, testosterone production, you need it, and it's delicious. Number seven, protein powder. A high-quality protein powder provides an incredible blast of easily digestible protein. One of the downsides of protein powder though is that it doesn't like fill you up all that much, uh, but it is incredible for a post-workout drink or for me, I also combine it with number eight. Oatmeal. Oatmeal is an amazing carbohydrate that I absolutely love. Mwah. I love oatmeal. I love oatmeal so much. All right, they are low on the glycemic index scale. They keep you full, great source of fiber, it's incredible. Um, 
I eat oatmeal pretty much every morning. I will do a scoop of protein. I will add some chia seeds. I'll add some flax seeds. I'll add some sweetener, cocoa. I do this whole like chocolate oatmeal thing that I've actually done a video on. Uh, but lately, I actually have been cheating <laughs> on my chocolate oatmeal. Kind of cheating. <laughs> I've been using oats overnight. Um, my buddy Brian, who is actually my partner with the Fashion Anchor, he started a business about a year ago called Oats Overnight. This is in no way or form sponsored. I even had to pay for the damn protein that I get from him. Um, but the deal is, I just wanted to tell you, if you're looking for an amazing option in terms of breakfast or really anytime, oats overnight, it's so simple, it's so easy. Here's the whole premise. In each pack, you get everything you need. All the stuff that I make my chocolate oatmeal out of, it's pretty much in here. You get like 34 grams of, or 32 grams of protein, you get carbohydrates, you get all sorts of maca, flax, chia, pro, like it's power packed. What you do at night, you throw it in a shaker bottle. This is actually the oats overnight shaker bottle. You add milk, give it a little shake, stick it in your fridge. In the morning, you get up, you're running late. You're like, oh my God, what am I going to have for breakfast? Bang. You go to the fridge, you grab your overnight oats, pop the top and bang those bad boys down. Um, these things are incredibly delicious and I don't know why it took somebody so long to make such an incredible product. My buddy Brian is a smart dude and he is killing it. And when I say killing it, this product, this company is absolutely, I think, a game changer. This is genius, <laughs> plain and simple. And just goes to show you what a little ingenuity and an entrepreneur can actually do, and they are crushing it. This is a totally biased review because he's my friend and business partner in another business, but if you guys wanna check it out, they've got like a starter pack that comes with the shaker bottle, some packs, it's down below, free shipping, 25% off discount code if you wanna check it out. Um, they also have bigger like boxes that you can buy and they do like auto renewal. You guys are going to absolutely flip and love it. Give them some love because he's my boy and the products are spectacular. Guys, link, discount code below. Number nine is the sweet potato. The sweet potato, one of my all time, most delicious and favorite foods. The thing that I love about sweet potatoes and gets me so many crazy looks is that what I'll do is I'll get a medium sweet potato, I'll put a paper towel around it, pop it in the microwave, five minutes. Go grab it, take it with me, hold on. Then I grab it and bring it with me and then later in the day I will just peel the skin back and eat it almost like, I don't know, it's just delicious. Um, the skin is also delicious. You eat that too, but just make sure you wash it because it gets dirty. Um, sweet potato is another insanely amazing carbohydrate. Low glycemic index. Actually, interesting sweet potato fact is that the sweet potato has a lower glycemic index than the white potato, which you would think is counterintuitive because this is sweet, that is not, but this is better. And last but certainly not least, the 10th best bodybuilding food, in my opinion, for building solid quality muscle is whole grains. We're talking about brown rice. We're talking about quinoa and wheat berries. There are all sorts of incredible whole grains out there that are slow digesting, low glycemic index, and will give you the power packed carbs you need to get buff and jacked. <laughs> all those things. Gentlemen, down in the comments, I want to know what your favorite bodybuilding food is. Cheers.